Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape, which is a free and open source vector graphics editor, to create a tapered spiral. So I'm going to start by using the spiral tool, which is on the left here, and just draw a spiral on the screen. And I'm using settings of about four, t uh, four turns and three and a half divergence. You can tinker with these and see what looks best for you. You can get all different kinds of spirals by just adjusting these settings. Anyway, these are the settings I want. Next I'm going to make a copy of this first spiral just by selecting it. Control C, Control V to copy and paste. And I'll just move that over the top for now so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to resize this second spiral to about half the size of the first one. So I'm going to hold down Control to constrain the aspect ratio and resize it down to about half the size of the original. Then I'm just going to move it so that the centers of these two spirals are more or less aligned. Then next I will use the zoom tool and I'm just going to zoom right in on the middle of those spirals and just check that I got the alignment right. So I'm just going to align those two points there so that the spirals are centered on each other. I'll zoom back out using the zoom to page setting. So I've got my two spirals. I want to join this all up into one object now. So I'm going to first, at the moment, th these are just shapes. And I can't actually do much about editing these. I can't change the shape of them or join them together. So I'm just going to select them both. Click uh, Path, Object to Path. And this has converted them. They don't look any different at the moment, but that, this has now converted them into paths, which are created out of nodes and, um, and bezier lines and so on. So now all of these points on here are edit editable. So to start with, I will select those two at the end there and click Join Selected End Nodes with a New Segment. And that's closed off for this end of the spiral. Next, I'll zoom right in on the middle again and go back to nodes view and I will select this little cluster of nodes here at the end of the spiral and I'm just going to join those together. Now when I zoom out this is all one object now and so I can go to fill and stroke and I can fill it in like that. And that's it, that's how you draw a tapered spiral in Inkscape and so you could use this for making a decorative pattern. So let's just have a quick look. So I'll make a couple of copies of it and we can resize them down to various different sizes like so. Rotate them and then nest them up against each other like that or something so that we can create a decorative pattern. And if I had more time, we could maybe fill in the whole page like that with all different shapes and sizes of spiral to create a design. But anyway, that's how you create a tapered spiral in Inkscape. 